Hello students, in continuation with lecture series of quantum statistics, today we will be discussing black body, black body radiation and average energy of Planck's oscillator along with numericals. Please subscribe to the channel before beginning to hear the lecture series. In case you need PDF of whatever is being taught, you can request for the same. Let us begin. Now, this question, the way it is asked is, what is black body? As you all know, is one which is absorbing totally all the radiations of any wavelength which are falling on it. And since it is neither reflecting nor transmitting any radiation, it appears black. Now, what is black body radiation? See, when a body is heated, it emits radiations of all possible wavelengths. And when you keep such type of black body in a uniform temperature enclosure, it is going to emit radiations which will be dependent on temperature. So remember that they are dependent on temperature. And this uh, black body, a few more detailed and important points are that these radiations which are emitted are independent of the nature of substance, nature of the walls of the enclosure and depend on temperature and radiations in a uniform temperature enclosure are known as black body radiations. So in short, you will have to do in quantum statistics the detail of these laws. So quickly let us see. Now see a black body when it starts radiating then the radiations are summed over all wavelengths and given by Stephen Boltzmann law, which is the basis of radiation heat transfer. Then black body radiation peaks at shorter wavelengths at higher temperatures according to the Wayne's displacement law, providing a tool for measuring star surface temperatures and temperatures of other objects which are achieved by satellite. Black body radiation can also be mentioned in terms of modes in absorbing cavity, Planck's radiation formula and Planck's radiation curve comes into being and for low temperature approaches the Rayleigh Jeans law and star surface temperatures come in the range of 3000 to 6000 Kelvin. So these three laws you should be knowing under black body radiation. Now, what is basically a black body in practice? The very famous example like carbon arc, etc. Here in practice, you have to explain in detail the black body in practice. So a closed chamber, look at the diagram here. Say a hollow sphere, which is having a very narrow opening at a point O here will be a perfect absorber. And you can use this as a practice of black body. This is how the incident radiations will come here. It is having a conical projection P. The radiation will suffer multiple reflections here. And it is coated with lamp black and then double walled sphere and this is a practical example of black body. So it is a closed hollow sphere which is painted black from inside having a very small opening. The projection protects any direct reflection of radiation and enclosure when it is heated to a uniformly high temperature then the radiation coming out of the hole are full radiation or the black body radiation. Now this question explain the term emissive power and absorptive power. Prove that at any temperature the ratio of emissive power to absorptive power of a substance is constant and it is equal to the emissive power of a perfectly black body. This has been asked at undergraduate level in many exams. It is a long question First, you have to give the definition of emissive power and absorptive power and then prove that their ratio is equal to the absorptive power of a uh, emissive power and absorptive power ratio is a constant. So emissive emission, 
emissive power of a body at a specific temperature for specific wavelength will be defined as the energy radiated into vacuum per second per unit area per unit range of wavelength. That means, suppose I take energy radiated per second per unit area between wavelengths lambda and lambda plus d lambda. So, energy will be given by E lambda d lambda and emissive power of a perfectly black body is maximum and it can be denoted by E lambda. Similarly, absorptive that means absorbing power. So, the ratio of the amount of energy absorbed to the amount of energy incident on it will be the absorptive power. Now, what we are going to do is we will assume that let dq be the amount of energy which is lying within wavelengths lambda and lambda plus d lambda. Then amount of energy that is absorbed will be equal to a lambda dq that is the absorptive power. Now this much has been absorbed. So what is remaining we will subtract from the total energy. This remaining energy will be reflected or transmitted. So, if E lambda is the emissive power, then the amount of energy emitted per second per unit area between the wavelengths lambda and lambda plus D lambda will be given by E lambda D lambda. So, total energy given out per unit area of the surface will be equal to 1 minus A lambda into dq plus E lambda d lambda at the state of equilibrium. This total energy will be equal to the energy given out per unit area. So, in solving this and simplifying it, we get A lambda dq is equal to E lambda d lambda. This dq and dq will get cut and this we get it this side of the equation. It becomes equal to this much. For a perfectly black body, A lambda, that is the absorptive power is equal to 1. And if I put A lambda equal to 1 here, then E lambda becomes equal to the capital E lambda. And we put this value here in this expression and we get ratio of emissive power of a body to its absorptive power for any temperature and wavelength is equal to the emissive power of a perfectly black body and it is a constant. This is known as Kirchhoff's law, which is I has been asked many times in various competitive exams. Next lecture, quantum oscillator and Planck's oscillator. Thank you.